Hello tribe, I'm in the kitchen today about to cook fufu, but this is not any kind of fufu, this is hausa, hausa fufu, it's um, a fermented type of corn fufu, according to what my mom told me, to make this fufu right here, the flour, the corn fufu flour, what they do is they take corn, they crack it, and then they sieve out any flour, out of the corn then the rest of it they soak it for a day to ferment it and then they drain out the water and then dry the corn dehydrate and dry it and then grind it to make this auza fufu so i am about to cook it what i have here is about two cups of the fufu and then i am bringing some water to a boil over here so i brought about two cups of water i am bringing it to a boil and then i'm going to show you what i do next so this fufu is available for sale at mama ruth that's my online african store this is one kilogram about 2.2 pounds and christmas sale specials six dollars for a pack if you need one let me know WhatsApp the numbers on the screen and I'll be sure to send you some. All right, the water has come to a boil now. So what I'm going to do is separate, divide the water in about in half and then set this aside and let me turn the heat down. And then I'm going to add cold water in here. Okay, about the same amount that I separated out. We want the temperature not too hot, otherwise it's going to form lumps. Okay, so now I'm going to add this and then dissolve. So I have about, probably have too much water in here. getting thick so you keep adding until you get to the texture that you want it's acting like pap if you know how pap does when you add it to when you add water to pap that's how this is acting like I did not use all of the fufu and it has taken up. I'm using the real tool. This is called in Kongba in my language. This is the fufu stick. Okay. So I'm gonna go back now and add some of that hot, that boiled, boiled water back in here. Let this cook if you see me struggling with cooking the fufu on the gas stove is because it is that difficult traditionally fufu is cooked in a sitting position we usually use like um three stone fireplace 
and then you put the pot sit down and then you can stir because you have a solid base you can use both hands so when you're just stirring with one hand it's it's very difficult to to handle again fufu is a type of dough made out of one or more carbohydrate foods and it's eaten by a whole lot of Africans in one form or another. It can be eaten hot or cold and you can store some away for about a day or two. There are different types of fufu. There's one that is made using flour like this one uh, where you put the flour and water and then stir it over fire like I'm doing, like the corn fufu, water fufu, gari, stuff like that. And then there is another type of fufu, which is pounded. So you boil something like yam, cassava, or plantain, put it in a mortar, use a pestle, and then pound it. And yeah, we use our fufu a lot to consume our vegetables with. So it's a culturally very important dish for us Africans. Let me use this opportunity to welcome new members of the tribe. Being a member of the tribe means that you have subscribed and you have also turned on the notification bell. I really do appreciate your encouragement and your support. If you're new to the channel, you're welcome. What I do here is grow ethnic vegetables and then also show you how we enjoy them because this fufu is going down with the njamanjama that I am cultivating in the garden. So if you would like to learn how to grow ethnic African vegetables, how to cook African stuff, be sure to click on that red subscribe button and also turn on notifications. Thank you so much for joining the tribe. In another five minutes, I'm going to stir one last time and our fufu is ready. I know there's a lot of stirring going on when you are cooking fufu. You're either stirring and stirring or you're pounding and pounding. That's African food for you. African food is not easy to prepare, but very much worth it. I hope you consider giving this fufu a try. If you would like this Auza fufu, let me know. The numbers are on the screen. Let me know by contacting that number on the screen and I can um, ship some to you. It's only $6 for one whole kilogram. At this point, our fufu is ready. Again, the texture is according to your preference. If you like it a little softer, go ahead and add more of that hot water until you achieve the texture that you like. I wanted it a little firm, so I let it be like this. is ready traditionally the fufu is served in calabash bowls like this so i put some of that water that warm water to make it non-stick and then the fufu is shaped it's molded in the bowl try this part is completely optional you don't have to use a calabash bowl i'm just using it because i have it so go ahead and then just enjoy your fufu. I enjoy the fufu again with the njamanjama from the garden, cooked the traditional way and served in a clay pot, just like my ancestors would do. This is health from heritage. This is why I grow a garden. Again, njamanjama seeds are available at Mama Ruth and a lot of the ingredients mentioned in this video is available at Mama Ruth. Go ahead and WhatsApp me if you need something. Until next time, guys, grow a garden because when you grow a garden, you do grow health. Bye-bye.